Buku, Joanne, this is the worst thing you could have ever done because you have put your father's life in danger in prison. You recklessly went on a show for money, told a story that is unsubstantiated that you could very well be wrong about. The reason we have our legal system is you want to protect people if they're innocent. You want to protect people if they are wrongly accused. You can get things wrong in your mind. You can remember things incorrectly. The people that you sold this story to don't give a fuck about you. Everybody that is reposting this and retelling this, they don't give a fuck about you. They're all making money on this story. How many of them have sent you any money? How many have cash apped you, sent some money to your DM? Use some common sense. How have you survived for your entire life? Where's your mo mother gotten her money from? Every dime that came in to go to putting a roof over your head, uh, sh sh clothes on your back, food in your stomach, for your entire life came from R. Kelly. The only person that ever took care of you, that made sure financially you were okay in this world, is your father. Robert Kelly, R. Kelly, and you just sold a story on him for money. Drea went on Hollywood X's and told great stories about Robert and her life with him for a check. But she wouldn't tell a great story to her children about their father for their mental health. So now she has drug addicts, alcoholics, and suicidal mental patients. Joanne, is it possible that someone else touched you instead of your father? Is it possible that someone else came in that room and it wasn't your father? Is it possible that all you saw was an outline, a silhouette, a shadow, and you assumed it was your father, but could it have been someone else from the party? When you are a mother or a father, you want to protect your children and you want to believe your children, but you also want to not rush to judgment and you want to look at every single possibility, examine everything from an angle, peel back the layers, believing them, trusting what they saw, but she's telling you a story from an eight-year-old, nine-year-old, 10 year old point of view she doesn't know what to look for what to look at what questions to ask it is the responsibility of the adults to ask the critical questions if he was having a party that means he had pro approximately 200 people in his house and his parties generally don't end until well into the next day the scandal in 2002 around the sex tape got national news and even though I'm sure they tried to protect their children from that, children will still manage to see things on TV, they will talk to neighbors, they will talk to friends that come over, they will talk to family that comes over and they will get information. They will sit at the stairs and listen to grown-ups talk. They'll uh, sit outside of the door and listen to uh, grown-ups talking on the phone. She was carrying a lot of fear in her about her father because of the scandal that he was involved in. This should have never gone to t television. It should have never gone into the courts or the legal system because there are too many unanswered questions. Critical questions were not asked in a timely manner and the margin of being wrong is too high. There is too much reasonable doubt for her to have publicly accused her father. It's something that she should have and could have talked to him privately about and had some dialogue about and maybe sit with him and uh, her mother or him and a third neutral party so that he could explain his side of it and they could 
clear the air and reach some middle passage but this was destructive on every level because you don't want to be wrong and her mother did not ask her key questions to make sure that they peeled back the layer looked at it from every angle examined every possibility and you know you make sure that you're a hundred percent correct before you ever go forward with something like this but under no circumstance should it ever got have gone to tv or the courts this is your father and he has taken care of you 18 years of your life he's taking care of your mother he's taking care of your brother and sister none of you have ever had a job and worked for anything all I know of is Robert Kelly taking care of all of you and for you to do this to your father is it's I can't even I have no words for it Joanne Kelly Buku Abi is it possible that the person that came in the room and touched you the night of the party was someone from the party other than your father. Do you recall the light being off? Do you recall the door being closed? Do you recall only seeing an outline or a silhouette or a shadow? Could it have been someone else that came in that room and not your father? She should have never ever did a TV show alleging that her father abused her. There is too much reasonable doubt to put bullshit like that in a TV show or to put it in a court of law. You never do that uh, if you don't have 100% certainty. And I, looking at this from the outside objectively, I find too much reasonable doubt for her to even have made these allegations public. Robert was having a party he probably had 200 people over his house it was uh, she said 3 or 4 in the morning you're in his office I assume the light was off if you're asleep the door was closed uh, if someone came in there they didn't leave the door open which means they closed the door you wake from sleep you're groggy incoherent and you pretend to be asleep which means you immediately close your eyes all you could have seen is a silhouette, a shadow of someone. That could have been anyone from his party. You cannot be 100% certain it was your father. You cannot be 100% certain of the specific details because you closed your eyes. It was dark. The door was closed. Nobody's going to have a door open while they are doing something they're not supposed to do so all of those things factored in says there's too much reasonable doubt when Robert was sentenced in New York he was evaluated by psychologists therapists and they did an analysis of him because you have to do that for your sentencing report Dr. Sarantino said in his uh, results I considered the diagnosis of pedophilia given Mr. Kelly's alleged history of sexual contact with minors. The diagnosis of pedophilia is used to refer to individuals who experience recurrent, intense, sexually arousing fantasies or sexual urges involving sexual activity with prepubescent child or children, generally aged 13 years or younger. I rejected the diagnosis because Mr. Kelly does not report to have a history of sexual arousal to prepubescent individuals and his sexual behavior has never involved prepubescent individuals. A professional psychologist, a trained psychologist who evaluated Robert for his sentencing report said conclusively 
Robert is not a pedophile. That means he does not uh, get aroused for anyone that is below a prepubescent age. Which Robert was going through his trial during those years. He wasn't sure if he would go to prison, if he would lose everything. It seems utterly impossible that he would have risked his freedom to do something as foolish as touch his child, knowing all eyes were on him all over the world. And he was in the middle of preparing for his trial. And the surest way for him to go to prison would have been for him to touch his child. It just doesn't add up. Someone get this to Joanne Buku Abi. Under no circumstance should you have ever publicly said anything about your father. I don't know if he did it. I don't care if he did it. It's none of my business. This was between you and your father. You should have shown some loyalty. You should have shown some character. You should have shown uh, some integrity. That man took care of you your whole life. What if you were wrong? What if you remembered it wrong? There is too much reasonable doubt for this to have ever been made public, for this to have ever gone outside of their family. Mental illness with Drea, mental illness with Joanne is on display for the world to see now. They sided against the man that took care of them all of their life, the man that provided for them, the man that is the reason the media even wants to talk to them. They showed uh, betrayal, disloyalty, lack of integrity. You aligned with the side that is against your father, against your ex-husband, they don't think shit of either one of you. They exploited you to get dirt on him so that they could make money on the story. Nobody's coming to your dance classes. Nobody's buying your music. Nobody's supporting you because neither one of you have demonstrated talent. Neither one of you have demonstrated work ethic. And neither one of you have done anything with your lives that contributes uh, anything to the world. So nobody's interested in you other than... Uh, they want to get some dirt on R. Kelly. And you provided that, which is the lowest thing you could have done.